Today we're going to be going over the top 5 most anticipated Air Jordan sneakers set to finish off this year. And I'm telling you right now, there are definitely a lot of bangers on this list. Starting off strong with the first sneaker, we have the Air Jordan 5. DJ Khaled. Now these are going to come in two different colorways. You're going to have your Crimson Bliss or your Sale colorway. If you want to see the blue or the purple colorway, I've done a review with all four of them in a previous video. I'll have that link for you down below in the description and I'll make sure that I pop up a little bit of B-roll for you guys here throughout the video. But basically with the Tan and Bliss pair, those two that are coming out, there has been a lot of anticipation. We heard that it's going to be a holiday release back like in the early spring, summertime and everybody's just been waiting on a release date. The album already came out and we're still trying to figure out what's going on because we thought the shoes were going to come out maybe on the album release date but that didn't happen so stay tuned for more information and if i have anything else for you guys as well i make sure i give you guys a video or how to cop or whatever it is depending on if they're doing a raffle system or you name it however it goes i'll make sure i keep you guys updated and if you haven't already consider subscribing because that's what i like to do talk about sneakers so now let's take it to the next shoe and this one's actually like a two-parter i was debating on putting one on the list or the other and i didn't really know so i was like you know what f it let's just put both on the list and that is the Chicago Air Jordan 2 and the Cardinal Air Jordan 7. Both of these are fire, classic, iconic, you name it. Those fall in that category and I feel like they definitely are deserving of being on this list. So let's start with the Chicago 2 first. When it comes to the pictures that I have seen online, these things look like they are amazing. Like they have done a great job of recreating that OG style, that OG cut. And it looks like they did a really good job on the packaging, the materials, and all the aspects along that line. And I'm very excited to see that because Jordan Brand has been doing a really good job when it comes to recreating those OG models in the OG colorways and giving us back to them now all these years removed but still giving us that OG shape and that OG vibe so I'm excited to see this shoe I'm excited to go after this shoe I'm sure a lot of other people are as well I know there's a lot of Air Jordan 2 agenda and a lot of hype around the Jordan 2s right now but I've been a Jordan 2 fan for a really long time so for me definitely very exciting and I have the other pairs from the past as well so it's only right I gotta go after them oh yeah and if you didn't know by now my name is DJ and this is the DNA show hey! on this channel I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys updates like this so again like I said earlier hit that subscribe button join the family join the squad we're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there now let's take it to the next shoe and that is the Cardinal 7 so this one right here in particular I'm excited for we've seen it retro a few times in the past and then we had the OG so there's been a couple different generations but I think that they're gonna do justice on this pair and I'm very excited to grab these add them to the collection we saw the citruses release previous over the past few months and a couple other sevens and we got some more stuff coming maybe they're gonna do Olympic sevens in the future who knows what they're gonna do we got the Bordos and a couple other things that we might want to see a retro again of either way I know a lot of people have memories with the Cardinal sevens in particular based off of the stories that I've heard from people and my personal memories as well so I think that's gonna be a shoe that a lot of people are gonna really be uh, just excited about I don't think the price is gonna be too insane when it comes to purchasing I think it's gonna be something that's fairly easy to cop but at the same time you still need to make sure that you wake up and go try to get the shoe when the hat you know when the drop is happening and everything like that so definitely a nice shoe i don't think this is going to be the most hyped up or most anticipated when it comes to that end on the values and the flips and all that stuff but either way well respected a lot of people love it and it definitely has to be on this list now before we get into the next shoe we got to give a shout out to today's sponsor and that is kinetic king kinetic kings is a california based streetwear brand and i'm telling you right now they have the perfect selection when it comes to shorts and all the different prints right here you can see i'm rocking the purple flame shorts to give my outfit a little bit of flair or something a little bit more simple but with cool details as well we got the blue rose shorts right here these both come in very similar cuts and fits when it comes to the style and the materials and even on shorts like this with the all over prints with the dawn family these are going to come with similar meshes as well as you can see they move really well but their active line of shorts moves even better and i think you can work out with these or pull off a cool fit with no problem and that's something that i love about this brand so if you guys haven't already consider using the discount code dna show at checkout that'll give you guys 15 percent off i'll make sure i have the link for you guys down below in the description and if you guys want to see any more from this brand let me know down below in the comment section so next up on the list right here we have the air jordan 11 cherry in the high top colorway this is something that we haven't seen before maybe have seen like a pe or something like that you know something different but not actually a release we saw the cherry colorway in the low top and i'm interested to see how this uh, sneaker really does with the community over time. I know there's a lot of hype because it's a Jordan 11, it's the end of the year, it's holiday time, everybody loves it, red and white goes with everything, I get that. But it's just, it's, I don't know, like, 
maybe it's the sock liner. Maybe it's, that's what it is. The sock liner is might be what's kind of holding me back from being like, this is a 10 out of 10. I love this sneaker. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section with the red sock liner. Would it have it looked better with a white sock liner, kind of more clean with that all white on the upper and then the red just cherry clean at the bottom? Or would it have been better with the black sock liner? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And I think I might just be biased because I love the cherry 11 low so much and I know that one had a white sock liner on it so it is kind of throwing me off seeing that red on the upper I feel like these would be really really clean if they had that white sock liner on them but again it's all a preference thing and at the same time it's not like I have control of the design so it is what it is at the end of the day I'm still gonna be going after the sneaker I'm excited to try to add these to the collection now I don't think these are the best Air Jordan 11s ever but at the same time they're still a clean shoe now next up on the list I've heard from some people say is going to be sneaker of the year I don't know if I can say all that, but I can say the shoe looks like it's pretty fire. It looks like they did a really good job when it comes to quality cuts, materials, all those different things. Either way, I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is. The Ama Manier Air Jordan 4. Now, as you can see from all the detail shots that we found online right here, the shoe is nice. They've done a really, really good job. They came correct on every aspect, from the sock liner, to the details, to the tags, to you name it, with the little button on the side. All the little nooks and crannies that come along with this sneaker and the packaging and everything is gonna be dope. I'm sure everybody is excited for this sneaker and everybody's gonna be going after it. There's been a lot of hype behind the Jordan 1, 2, and 3 when it comes to the Ama drops. And I'm sure there's without a doubt not gonna be a fail when it comes to the Jordan 4. Let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section. Are they the best Amas out of all the four that have come out so far? I know everybody talk about the airships and there's other things, I get that, but I'm just talking about the Jordan particular Jordan models right here. So let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. I'm interested to see you know how these do when it comes to the resale market and all the other things as well because we've seen the amas there's a lot of hype behind it but the resale prices aren't too crazy like i feel like some people oh well 350 dollars is not affordable i get that yes at the same time that is still 350 dollars but when you think relative to all other sneakers like 350 bucks or 300 bucks for a pair of ama ones or something like that I feel like that's a pretty solid deal so let me know what you think about these how they're going to react to the market and all the other stuff and hopefully you're going to have a chance to get them i'm crossing my fingers for everybody on that one and the next one i'm crossing my fingers for very expensive the air jordan one lost and found so now these right here were set to release before and then they got pushed back and now we're expecting a november 19th release so hopefully Everybody has a chance. I know they're probably not gonna make a bunch of pairs, but either way, at the end of the day, I know this is gonna be one of the top grail sneakers that everybody goes after this year. I can guarantee it. It's high priority on a lot of people's list right now. And again, if I missed anything with the details on any of the other shoes, I make sure I have everything linked for you guys down below in the description with the release dates and all the other information for all the other shoes on the list. But for these right here in particular, let's talk about them real quick. There was definitely a little discrepancy behind the whole storytelling aspect of the sneaker and all the other stuff months back in the past and all those different things. Either way, it looks very close to a Chicago Air Jordan 1. It has the color blocking, it has all the things, it's reimagined, you name it, whatever words you wanna use for the name of the sneaker. At the end of the day, everybody likes this shoe. It, I feel like, okay, not everybody, but maybe like 7% or 8% of the people probably don't like this shoe. I don't know, I'm interested. We can actually take these projections right here my guess is on percentages because you guys know i like to do polls on my story so if you haven't already followed me on ig i always post polls on there and then i get the results here on the channel and i show them during the review so when i get the lost and founds in hand and i do the poll and i show the results we shall see when that time comes but i think less than 10 percent of the people don't like this shoe have some vengeance vendetta against the sneaker but i feel like everybody has respect for the shoe at the end of the day. So because of that, it's gonna hold a high price point. It's gonna hold a high demand. It's gonna be coveted. It's gonna have all those things that you would put on the list. And that's why it would be number one on a lot of people's list for this year. Now, do I think that is the best sneaker of this year? I don't know. I don't know if I could just boldly say that statement. I need to see everything in hand and feel the materials of all the other shoes that we mentioned in today's video as well to have a full understanding. But I can say definitely I understand why it would be a top three sneaker at least for everybody when it comes out to you know Jordan drops and everything for this year. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Those are five, actually six different sneakers that are set to drop this year that haven't came out yet. Hopefully the year finishes strong. I hope that you guys are able to hit on everything that you wanna hit on. I'm crossing my fingers for y'all. I appreciate you as always. I'll see you in another one. All right, y'all, I'm out.
Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, stay tuned because the Eight and Got em tease is about to come out soon. I'll let you guys know more info on that. Trust me, it's going to be a dope drop.